Hi, my name is Paul, and um, what I want to do today is just uh, do a little demonstration on how certain diagnoses can look like each other. Uh, so I first want to start over here with this young man who has an L4, L5 right-sided herniated disc with nerve root compression. And if you take a look, I'm going to have him hold his great toe up, which is uh, the L5 uh, nerve root segment. And I want you to hold it up there. Hold, hold, hold. And I'm collapsing. If I do this side, hold, hold, hold. Very good resistance. Here, hold, hold, hold. I get about a 3 plus over 5. Let's hold the foot up. Dorsiflexion, hold tight. We're at about 4 minus over 5. This side, 5 over 5. Now we're going to slide over this way. And we're going to take a look at this young man who sustained damage to the peroneal nerve uh, when he had a knee injury. And I'm going to have you hold your big toe up. And I want you to hold it right there. Okay, hold your toes up. Give me everything you've got. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. It collapsed him really easily. So, this is a peroneal nerve injury. And the last one we took a look at was an L5 nerve root compression. So they can look the same. Um, one way we can tease them out, the difference between the two is to do reflex testing and the person with the L5 will, uh, L4, L5 will have, could have some loss of reflex um, and also some loss of sensation. But you'll notice that the motor weakness is the same. So just thought I'd uh, share that with you. Thanks.